Abolishing slavery by constitutional provision settles the fate for all coming time. Not only of the millions now in bondage, but of unborn millions to come. President Abraham Lincoln, portrayed by actor Daniel Day-Lewis, would eventually win the day. He signed the 13th Amendment, abolishing slavery in 1865. And he did it in February. That would lead to the Black History Month we celebrate each year. And it's thanks in part to the efforts of a former enslaved person, Richard Robert Wright, Sr. Wright's own life story is just what this month is meant to honor. During the Spanish-American War, he was the highest ranking African-American officer, the first to serve as U.S. Army paymaster. Late in life, he enrolled at the University of Pennsylvania's prestigious Wharton School of Business and founded the first black-owned Northern Bank. A promoter of black education, he founded what is now Savannah State University. Sled Dawson is the school's director of leadership and authority on right. Why don't we know more about this man? How is he not stoked in the annals of African-American history and the likes of a Sojourner Truth or a, or a Harriet Tubman or a W.E.B. Du Bois? I think if we really look out there, you'll find there's a bunch of Richard R. Wrights, and I would say even that he helped create a bunch of future Richard R. Wrights, and that these were people who genuinely wanted to make a difference for their communities wherever they were. After a lifetime of achievement, Wright had one more goal, to make February 1st the day of Lincoln's historic signing, National Freedom Day. In 1948, a year after Wright's death, President Truman signed that into law. The day was later designated Black History Day. And meeting up with Negro History Week, established by historian Carter G. Woodson, eventually expanded into Black History Month. Tell me this, what do you think he would be most proud of? He would be very proud of our students, his students, after they graduated and the things they did in their communities when they went back home or to wherever they went and how they left that legacy there. And so, you know, Savannah State University, one of the key things that we do is to give students an opportunity to apply what you learn to real action, to real practical experiences. And we try to make those connections today just like you did back then. So Mr. Wright worked his way up, became a college president, was a college president for 30 years, then at 67, went to Philly, enrolled at Wharton, got his business degree, and then started the first bank, the first black bank in the North. And then guess what? Made it through the Depression with $5 million in assets, wow. something like a half a billion he, dollars today. He was just a, young, a youngster at 67. <laughs> I know, right? I, I think a lot of people don't know no, much about him or anything. I was just going to say, and yeah. important reason to tell those stories. And father of nine.